What is up guys, Little Monkey here, and today I'm back with another episode of Hybrid Squad Builder. Uh, today I've got a mixture of gold and silver players in this team. Uh, it's not too much of an expensive team, uh, and it's only got one in four minutes, so um, it's quite a budget team, but I think it's under 50k. Um, it should be quite an interesting team, so I'll start with the goalkeeper, and in fact I best just put the formation in, um, just so they actually come up rather than load of random players coming up with them. Okay, so 4-5-1. First we have Zommer from FC Basel. Jan Zommer, um, last year I, I think he had a really good season in real life. Um, I believe he got a team of the season at the end of the year. Uh, but he's a decent goalkeeper on this game. And uh, against the subscribers that I played on stream, um, he played very, very well. Um, and he did have a lot of work to do, it seems. Uh, you subscribers are pretty good at FIFA. I'm hoping that's something from my videos, but probably not. So at right back, we have the first silver in the team, and that is Dagon. Um, his brother and him play for FC Basel, and you'll see a, a, a sort of a Swiss-Austrian theme in this team. He's got 83 pace, he's 6 foot 1 and cost me 600 coins. Uh, he's actually a very solid right back, I mean, 6 foot 1 is quite tall, so he's obviously got some strength behind him to be able to beat off uh, the wingers that are uh, strengthy and pacey, because he's got 83 pace as well. So the centre back, the first of the centre backs we have is Dragovic from FC Basel. Also, first Austrian player in this team, getting a nice strong link with Jan Sommer and Dagan. Six foot one with 73 pace, 78 defending and 78 heading. Really good all round stats and is 3,700 coins um, out of your pocket. And he's he's worth it, I'd say. He's uh, very very good. Um, one of the solid centre backs in the game, uh, especially silvers because there's quite a lot, few of them that are very good. Now you'll probably know this centre back. It is Vorsa from um, what country is he from? Is it Ghana? Yeah, it is Ghana. And he plays for Red Bull Salzburg in the Austrian Bundesliga. Uh, he's got 77 pace. Is six foot four with 76 defending and 80 heading. And he cost me 550 coins. I got him for below discard value on buy now, which is pretty awesome. And uh, I really don't know why this guy isn't used more. It's probably because he's in quite a rare league and obviously his nationality isn't the most popular. Um, so that's probably why, but he's absolutely awesome. Left back, so we have to link with Vorsa is Umler from, oh, sorry, Ulmer from Red Bull Salzburg. There really isn't uh, much to talk about with him. He cost me 200 coins. He's mostly in there for chemistry, uh, but he certainly does the job efficiently. Left mid, then, uh, we have... Jo wow, <laughs> I know he plays for Liv uh, used to play for Liverpool. Uh, Jov Janov. Wow, I'm making a real hash of that name. Um, it is Jov Anovic. There we go, Jov um, He's he's slow. <laughs> 77 pace, 74 shooting, 71 passing, 77 dribbling. Um, if he played in centre mid, there'd be some really good stats. But unfortunately, left mid, he isn't too amazing. Um, I only played two games online with this team, played the majority of games against subscribers. I mean, he does he does the job well, but he isn't a pacey player. And if he can learn to not use pace, then I suppose he's alright. But he doesn't really have much more going for him, so a uh, bit of a letdown. So we'll go dropping back to the centre mid. We have Lightgeb from uh, Red Bull Salzburg again. Uh, he's also Austrian, so he gets a nice link with uh, Djokovic at the back. Um, 80 pace and 80 dribbling, 72 passing. Um, he's very good, very solid player, and I believe he scored a couple of goals for me against um, some of the uh, subscribers that I played. If you're one of the subscribers I played, by the way, tell me in the comment section below. Um, but um, he uh, scored a really nice goal against one of the subscribers, particularly. And uh, yeah, I just realised my cat's in the sink. Yeah, anyway, at right mid, we have Rafinha from Cortiba. Um, he cost me just 750 coins. He's really common in packs. And he's not all too great, to be honest. The stats on his card say he's got 87 pace, 80 dribbling. But that really is all he has going for him. He's probably a little bit rate wasted at right mid. Um, but he re doesn't really do much anyway. So at cam, first cam we have is Lincoln, also from Cortiba. He has got 5 star skill moves and will cost you 2,600 coins. Uh, now he's a little bit slow at cam. But if you can learn to just use skills instead of um, just... Uh, using pace, yeah, I suppose he's all right. 74 dribbling, 72 passing, and 76. Um, sorry, 72 shooting, 76 passing as well. And then the left cam, um, you can also um, 
use a different player in here called Vargas, who I've, is rumoured to be very good. But I decided to put this guy in, Fernando Canasan, and he is 82. He has 82 pace and will cost you 1,100 coins. Four star skill moves, four star weak foot, and is I don't know how to put this. He's one of those false stats players. He isn't all too good. Um, now for the star player in this team, the inform that is Umbakani from Andalect. Uh, and uh, he has got a weird first name, so I'm not even going to pronounce, try to pronounce it. But he's six foot one with 84 pace, 75 shooting, 77 dribbling, and 83 heading. 14,500 coins I paid for him. You can probably get him for a little bit less now because I bought this team before the market crash, so you probably can pick him up for just above discard value. Um, he uh, he's he's all right, I suppose. Um, he performed well, very well against subscribers, but online he didn't really do much. I think he probably needs a partner up there with him uh, because he can't do much alone. And it seems that Lincoln and uh, Fernando Canasan can't really do much. Um, so unfortunately, the, that's where the team is letting itself down a bit. So to summarise, the defence on this team is absolutely outstanding. Some really underrated defenders in there and then the midfield is a mixture of players uh, with a couple of skillers in there and then the striker of course Umbakani uh, also is a mixed um, bag of attributes as well so thank you very much for watching this video guys as always if you enjoyed it I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like on the video and I will see you next time bye bye